Hey there, so one of the types of transformations that we've reviewed are rotations. And a lot of times uh, we get hung up on the different rules for these transformations. So I'm going to go ahead and go over them. And then I'm going to show you a real quick and easy way to remember how to use them and apply them rather than memorizing the actual rules. Um, so if you kind of follow along and bear with me. Um, so the first thing that we're going to be talking about are rotations, obviously. Uh, usually they go counterclockwise. So we've got a 90 degree rotation counterclockwise, 180 degree rotation counterclockwise, and 270. And again, if you remember counterclockwise, I've got a little clock here. It's going to go that way, in the opposite direction of the clock. So normally the clock goes this way, counterclockwise is going to go in the opposite direction. So, let's go ahead and look. 90 degree rotation, counterclockwise, We'll start with the rule of x and y. So whatever our x and y coordinates are, we're going to change the sign of the y one and put it up front. So now we're going to have the opposite of y, comma x. Notice I didn't say negative because if the original y value here, let's say this were a negative 1, the opposite of y is going to be a positive 1. All right? I, don't want to, I don't really like to use the word negative because if something's already negative, I don't want you to kind of give in that, get in the habit of thinking, oh, it has to be negative. No, not the case. It's the opposite. All right, so if we have an x and a y value, if it's a 90 degree rotation counterclockwise, we're going to switch the x and the y. So we'll put the y first, change the sign, and then put the x second. Okay, so that's for 90 degree rotation counterclockwise. For 180, we're just going to change the sign of the x and y. So we start with a positive x and a positive y. We'll keep the, the original uh, coordinates in their original locations, but then we'll just change the sign. So we'll have an opposite of x and the opposite of y. So let's say, for instance, this were a positive 1 and a positive 1. This would become negative 1, negative 1. Okay? And finally, for our 270 degree rotation counterclockwise, we'll have our x and our y coordinates, and then we'll switch their locations and then change the sign of the x. All right, so what does this look like here? Let me go ahead and do a quick little demo. Let's say, for instance, I gave you the values of 2 and 4. Okay, where, where would that point be rotated uh, counterclockwise in 90? Well, we're going to switch the x and the y coordinates. So this is going to become negative uh, 4 because, again, we said this is going to be the opposite of y. Well, this is a positive 4, so the opposite of positive 4 is going to be negative 4, comma, Two. Okay? Now, what about for the 180? Well, if our original coordinates were 2, 4, which they are, we're simply going to change the signs of both of them. So we'll have negative 2, comma, negative 4. All right, see how we apply that rule? For 270, again, if we're starting with the 2, 4, we'll put uh, the 4 up front, and we'll change the sign of the 2, so it'll be negative 2. Okay? And that's it. That's applying the rules, given a point. So in order to, to demo this, what I need you to do is on your graph paper in your coordinate plane, I need you to go ahead and plot these points. We've got point A at 3, 7. We've got point B at 7, 6. Point C at 7, 4. And point D at 5, 2. All right, when you're done plotting that, we'll go ahead and move forward. Now that we have our quadrilateral plotted, we're going to go ahead and practice applying these rules for transformation in a more visual way, because that's how I like to roll. So I'm going to go ahead and take my quadrilateral, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise to start. OK, counterclockwise, again, if you remember, is going to go to the left. So I'm going to take my figure, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Okay. Now, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and plot these points, and I'm going to kind of identify them for you. So, if we're going to use proper terminology, this is considered our pre-image, okay? This is now our image. And again, this is 90 degrees counterclockwise. All right, our coordinates here are going to be negative 2, 5. Our C is going to be at negative 4, 7. Our B is going to be at negative 6, 7. And our A is, is at negative 7, 3. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and draw in that figure just because we're going to need to see it in a little bit. 
so let's go here. All right, so there's our quadrilateral rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise. All right, but that's not enough. We're going to continue on. We're going to rotate it again another 90 degrees, which is going to make it our 180 degrees. So I'm going to rotate it again. All right, and this is 180 degrees, and again, counterclockwise. So now we've got our A at negative 3, negative 7. We've got B at negative 7, negative 6. We've got C at, let's just make sure that I'm doing this right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, down one, two, three, four, so negative three, negative, whoa, negative seven, negative four, sorry. And our D is gonna be at negative five, negative two. Let me go ahead and draw this one in. And now we're almost finished. We need to add another 90 degrees to our rotation. That is, so that's going to make it 270 degrees counterclockwise. Here we go. And bam, right there. All right, let's check out these coordinates. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, down 1, 2, 3. So this is 7, negative 3. Our B is going to be at... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6, negative 7. C should be 4, negative 7. And D should be at 2, negative 5. I'll go ahead and draw another one of these. Let's do red. So we've got, there we go, All right? And again, this was 270 degrees counterclockwise from our original. Now that we have the coordinates for each of our rotations, let's go ahead and compare those to the original rules that we saw. If you remember, for our 90 degree rotation, we had our x and our y, we brought the y to the front, changed the sign, and put the x as our second coordinate. Let's go ahead and look and see if that's what we did here. So we started at a at 3, 7. Our a now was over here, if we remember, at negative 7, 3. Our b is negative 6, 7. Our c is going to be negative 4, 7. And our D is negative 2, 5. So we did actually follow that rule. All right? Let's look over at the 180 degrees counterclockwise rotation. The rule was change the sign of the X and the Ys, but leave them. We don't switch them back and forth or anything like that. So let's go ahead and look. Our original coordinates were here. Now for our 180 degree rotation, let's look and see. This point here is going to be our A. Okay, and we just changed the sign of the x and y, so this is negative 3, negative 7. Let's look over at our b. Is there a negative 7, negative 6? Right here. For our c, it should be negative 7, negative 4, which is right here. And our d is negative 5, negative 2, which is what we had here. So we're correct. Let's m move on to the next. Last, so we have 270. Okay, we brought the y up front and changed the sign of the x. Let's go ahead and check that out just to verify. We started it with 3, 7. So if we bring the y to the front, we should have a 7, and then we're going to change the value of the x. So we should have 7, negative 3, and we do. Okay, for b, we should have 6, negative 7. 6, negative 7. For c, we should have 4, negative 7, and we do. For d, we should have 2, negative 5, and we do. 
Okay, so that's how we use our rules. Now I know that I told you in the beginning that I'm going to show you a shortcut, and here it is. So on your piece of paper, in your coordinate grid that you've got, go ahead and plot these points A, B, and C. That's going to be our pre-image. Okay, so A is going to be at 1, 5, B will be at 2, 1, and C will be at negative 3, negative 1. Now that you have these, what I'd like you to do is take your piece of paper or your notebook or whatever, wherever you have your, your graph and your image, or your pre-image. Take your piece of paper or your notebook or your graph or wherever, wherever you have your pre-image plotted, and I want you to rotate it 90 degrees in your hands, 90 degrees to the left, so counterclockwise. Okay, and I'm going to do that right here. So what was here is now here. Okay, now let's set this as our, our graph that we're going to be using now. Now, let's look at where A is now. Okay, if this is the origin 0, 0, this is now the x axis, this is now the y axis, where's point A? Okay, let's look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that's negative 5 up 1. So I'm going to write negative 5, comma, 1. Where's B? negative 1 up 2. Where's C? 1 down 1, 2, 3, so 1, negative 3. Okay, if you remember our rule from the beginning, we switched the x and the y's, and we made the y coordinate the opposite of whatever sign it was originally. So let's look, let's see if that actually happened. We originally started with 1, 5. If we make this the opposite sign, so negative 5, pull it up front, and then put the 1 back here, we now have these co this coordinate, don't we? So the rule works. Let's continue on. So take your piece of paper now, and I want you to rotate it 90 degrees again to the left. So in total, that's a 180 degree rotation, counterclockwise. And let's go look again where A, B, and C are. Okay, well, A now is at negative 1, negative 5. B is at negative 1, 2, negative 1. And C is at 1, 2, 3, positive 1. So 3, 1. Okay, do we remember the rule? Sure, maybe, maybe not. Okay, well the rule was you just change the signs of the x and the y's, and that's exactly what we did. We started with a positive 1, positive 5, now we're at negative 1, negative 5. We started with positive 2, 1, now we're at negative 2, negative 1. We started at negative 3, negative 1, now we're at positive 3, positive 1. Okay? So you can remember the rules, or if you can remember to switch your paper in a, in a, in a 90 degree rotation counterclockwise or 180 degree rotation counterclockwise, you should be set with these rotations. Let's do one more 90 degree rotation counterclockwise and add it up, and that'll put us at the 270 mark. Okay, 270 is here. All right, let's look at where A, B, and C are. Well, now, again, if this is our x axis and this is our y, we're going to be at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 1. Our B is going to be at 1, negative 2. And our C is going to be at negative 1, positive 3. And if you remember our rule, okay, we switch the x and y's, right, and change the sign of, of our original x. So again, we start with a positive 1, make it negative, so we're changing the sign, and then put it where the y was. So that gives us the 5, negative 1. The same rule applies for our b. We started at 2, 1. Now we're at 1, negative 2, and our C, which is at negative 3, negative 1, and now it's at negative 1, positive 3. Okay? I hope this shortcut helps, um, and hopefully you'll be getting some success on these rotations, because they are a little bit tricky sometimes, but hopefully you'll, uh, you'll be able to use this little trick in turning your paper and uh, remembering the, the, the rules a little bit and applying it to the rotations and getting these coordinates set. Okay? Have a good one.